Hey guys, another video. Um, this one is going to be on my reptile slash cockroach room, I guess. I completely redid it. Uh, <clears throat> there's two tubs of cockroaches. I brought the geckos that were downstairs up here. Uh, let's see if I can find them. I just I uh, just planted these spider plants in here. All these other ones are all fake. Uh, I want to start getting some live ones. Um, there's a crocodile gecko on top of the container, and then behind that is a, a fan-tailed, uh, fan-footed gecko, I think. Um, that big one right there, right there is escaping me. I have another crocodile gecko in here somewhere. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure where he is. He's probably hiding inside that container. Uh, <clears throat> along with the rest of them, I just gave him a little bit of a shower. <laughs> uh, let's go over here to my leopard gecko. He's chilling out underneath the driftwood I put in there. Uh, I've been feeding him like crazy. He's been eating a lot. Uh, the scorpion. Let's see if I can show you guys. He's getting bigger. Uh, eating quite a bit. That's always a good sign. I don't want to crush them. I also don't want to get stoned. Okay. Uh, Pac-Man frog. It's chilling out. Um, wanting that plant to grow, but it's taking a while. And armadillo lizard, which also has a very awesome appetite. And yeah, he's a pretty cool lizard. Um, he loves chasing the cockroaches. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to feed him right now because I fed him a lot earlier. But <clears throat> let's go to the entrance. When you walk in, it's, there's the heater. Uh, I put the rack of mealworms over top of the aquariums. It's kind of difficult to get in the aquariums, but I don't get in, in them all that often. Uh, I have a moth problem because of the mealworms, so I'm going to a container with an actual clasping lid so the moths can't go, get in and lay eggs. Um, hopefully that'll cut down on them. Uh, so eventually all these tubs will... I'm slowly taking the beetles and mealworms um, out and putting them in, in the big one. I think I'm just going to try that and he's going after a... He just ate a little moth larva that I picked off of that container. Um, I've been feeding him a lot of those. He loves them. Uh, I put this reflective surface up. If you've ever watched any of my videos on uh, me growing my plants and stuff, I had this up for my indoor garden, uh, and I just decided to bring this up to try and ref reflect some of this light that I have on here um, back on uh, to be more efficient to bounce back and make the room brighter and to help plants grow and stuff like that. But then I have um, also on the other side are six more tubs of cockroaches which I have two tubs of hissers that I am down going to downsize to one I don't know how I'm gonna do that uh, I really don't want to freeze them but I don't think the pet shop wants them um, so I don't know if you want free if you want uh, cheap uh, Madagascar Madagascar hissing cockroaches let me know uh, we can work out a, a good deal I have uh, babies to adult, uh, just let me know. Uh, the rest of them are lobster and dubia roaches, and I will also be, um, I will be downsizing these, which are the lobster roaches, uh, because they breed so fast. Uh, they are mainly what I feed everything because they breed so fast that it doesn't matter how many I feed to the stuff. There's always plenty more. I could probably get 15 more lizards. Uh, I could get 15 more bearded dragons uh, where they have crazy appetites and I would still not, not be able to feed enough out of these colonies. Uh, if you want a cheap feeder, go with cockroaches. Uh, I know that a lot of people have the, ew, gross, cockroaches. Uh, I get it. Oh well. 
they used to do the same thing with crickets, and then crickets got big, and the the when they started uh, when pet shops started carrying stuff like this that required bugs to eat. Uh, uh, crickets, there didn't always used to be grocery stores, and there didn't always used to be crickets in the grocery stores. Uh, I'm sure that everybody was saying you grows when crickets first started out as a uh, as a bait too. So uh, I think just people need to start getting used to the fact that cockroaches are in the pet industry. Uh, reptiles really like them. They're really nutritious, and you can't fight the facts that they're better than crickets. Um, people might think that they're gross, but oh well, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a, a little tour of my room. Uh, it's always under construction. I'm probably going to move it around again just because that's I, it's what I do. I get bored with one way. Um, but uh, alright, thanks for tuning in. Take it easy.